Hello there. My name is Robin Teppon and I want to thank you that you have taken out time to watch this video. You know, I always enjoy making videos for you um, because of what I have come to discover. It is my passion and my passion uh, is to help you have a successful dating or a successful marriage. I have um, been taking out time to carry out some researches to study and really understand what's what's the reason for the multiplied numbers of dating sites. And I found out that whereas many people who actually want to build relationships that last um, they approach it with the mind that this is going to offer me an opportunity to start a relationship that is going to last, a relationship that is for keeps. Many of the dating side, I'm sorry to say, they are not meant with that in mind. They are meant to just give you an opportunity to relax. Many of them lead to marriage. Maybe this is your first time of watching my video. Uh, maybe this is one of them that you have watched already. Uh, today I believe that I have something that is very special, something that is important. And that is, why do men drag their feet when it comes to a lifelong commitment? Many times, men don't mind having a girlfriend or girlfriends but they are slow slower than many of the ladies will want them to be when it comes to that point of making that lifelong commitment why is that let me use this opportunity in the next few minutes to see how much i can help you to answer that one of the reasons is that there is that natural longing to have somebody of the opposite sex in his life. Most men want women in their life. In fact, uh, somebody said, in every man there is a woman. Nowadays, there are people who are saying that doesn't hold anymore. That's not what we are going into. But we want to look at why are some ladies more prepared, more committed, and sometimes many wish that they would be the ones to propose to the man and take the steps. I don't know if you're familiar with what I'm saying. In many cases, the reason is that the psychology of the woman when it comes to a lifelong relationship is different from the psychology of the man. A man's lifestyle is going to be completely altered and many when it comes to that point of crossing that thin line between just being friends to being lifelong partners getting into that commitment to take the marriage vows to make that commitment and say from henceforth I forgo every other relationship and I stick to you alone my friend, it is not easy. It's not the easiest task in the world because that is going to alter the man's life in a very different way. Number one, it's going to, if he's the kind that used to spend a lot of late nights and maybe the lady is not the, that type. To start with, that is a major crisis. It's a setup for a major crisis. And to think of it, the fact that the man's feature features physically, physiologically, it, they're different from that of a woman. It's like the stage is set up for conflict, for disagreements. Because while the woman is looking for a relationship, the man might only be thinking of sex. Is that new to you? <laughs> In many cases, that's what happens. 
There are few men who think beyond all oh, the physical features of the woman, who think beyond just the canal relationship. The very few men who want a woman who think and consider why I want this lady in my life is because she has what I need on my journey forward. And why that one of the reasons why that happen happens is that most times we hardly think. We just do things on impulse. We react. You know, we we hardly act. Very few people take action because they have thought it through. Most people take actions because uh, they they're just stimulated. They they just responding to the spur in the spur of the moment. They're responding to something that has stirred their emotions up. So you see, man is a hundred percent an emotional being, and at that moment is not reasoning. Yes, we are also creatures of reason, but at that stage that a man is thinking of getting into a relationship with this lady, might be he just sees and appearance strikes him and he feels wow this is it but when it comes to the details of the commitment the process of having to make it work together many times many times the natural feeling of today's man is let's just be boyfriend girlfriend in fact those who want to take it to the next level is to imagine you moving let's just cohabit possibly things will work out but you see the nature of man allows him almost his lifetime to be able to remain productive your own nature the way you are made you are more time sensitive i hope this makes sense to you so let's now zero in on few of the reasons why men are slow to cross that line from just being friends or from just thinking about or less cohabit to becoming life partners one he's going to sign his death warrant <laughs> who wants to die he wants he's going to he knows that the moment he make that public declaration the moment he informs people this lady is not just my friend it's not just my girlfriend she is my wife he knows the implications he knows whether he has sat down to study or not if he hasn't too bad but if he has and he has not made enough commitment he has not shown enough signs of commitment then there's a problem it's a red flag and you don't have to ignore it because what that will do is that he's going to stop him from just sleeping wherever he wants to sleep. He's going to make him become accountable to somebody. I mean, think of it. For a man who has been free to do his thing the way he wants it, takes his decision, moves, travels, and all that, and suddenly you walk in into his life in the name of, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and then you alter everything. If he's on a job, he's going to put. He's likely going to put on, take on a lot more hours on his job, so he can make more money, and and that comes naturally because the responsibility of running a home, maintaining a relationship, is now going to put that challenge up to a man to think you need more money, and of course you know we are in the midst of heavy inflation where the prices of things keep increasing and people only still earn the same amount they have been earning so this is a big issue for a man and before he could now make that commitment to cross the line but you see it, it doesn't it is not supposed to be so because there are many advantages for a married man in most cases many advantages there are a lot of things you can do as a couple if you are well taught, if you are well groomed, the, if you know what to do, I prefer to do it with somebody else. I prefer to have a wife 
to having a girlfriend. I mean, she's a girlfriend. I know the the connotations that people have about that. You have he has a chance to do everything married pe married people do except to make that commitment to live with you the rest of his life. So this is an aspect why many men don't want to be committed to cross that line. The other reason is that that is going to cut him off from his friends, apart from his colleagues, apart from if he's a religious person, if he's a church person, or he, he has any form of religion that he's committed to, any form of worship he's committed to, apart from those meetings and if if that's an environment, a forum where he has chance to interact with people, marriage is going to cut him off from his casual friends. It's going to cut him off from those appointments. And if he's a kind that was too used to those, this is going to be a major crisis. So while the woman is seeing it as, oh, thank God, finally I am settling down, a man is going through a time of crisis to adjust himself. To adjust his psychology to adjust everything to be able to make that marriage work listen to me men are not into relationships in that sense men are into relationship for other reasons it could be into relationship so they can make more money could be into relationship so they can gratify themselves they could be into relationship so that um, when they need somebody around, they can have them. But women are into relationship because it is natural with them. Now, another thing to note is, for those of you that have already been married, and you wonder, what suddenly happened to my husband? When we were just friends, the boyfriend, girlfriend, or we were just courting, he was such a lover. I mean, a day wouldn't pass without him calling me. Listen, if he's having challenges with his job, very few men will still remember to call you. If the man is having problems, trying to overcome his struggles, maybe he's going to go through times of crisis. The other thing is that we male men, we pursue projects. We like project. We are project driven, you know. And so for a man, that time that he wants to catch your attention, he wants to prove to you that he is the greatest guy you have ever met, he will go the extra mile. He is going to go the extra mile. He is going to do unbelievable things. If he can afford you a house, he can buy it. And he will. If he can afford you a car, Ferrari, he will do it. And it won't mean anything to him. But... That is because we are project driven. We are not relationship inclined. Few men are. And many of those who are is because of what they have understood to be the implication. You get what I'm saying? Well, there's a lot to learn. And if you are interested in having the time for my one on one, one on one coaching. If you're interested in that, if you want me to take you on, if you want to have my training program, you want, you're saying, Pastor Tefon, I want you to teach me, I want to have a relationship, whether you're a man or a woman, I want my marriage to work. And for couples who value what I call couples clinic. You value it and you want us to start off. I'll give you the initial 30 minutes free consultation. I mean, we talk about whatever topic you want to. You want to ask a question, you're very free. You want me to answer you, you know, whatever question it is on relationship. But I want to say this and be very clear about this. Most of my answers are going to be principle based are going to be based on the principles of the bible why is that that's what i know has worked for me 
this past 20 years that is one thing that has worked and is still working today in spite of the challenges in spite of the changing seasons I am going to teach principles but they are principles that work most of them are going to be Bible based I believe that it's going to be of a blessing to you you know I'm still smiling after 20 years of marriage I'm still looking very young very very marketable am I not well you you judge it by yourself uh, but that is just by the way but the point is your own relationship can work and if you give me that chance if you feel that what I'm saying resonates with you if it taps into your your mind if it taps into your feelings if this is something you want to take on then you can connect with me on Skype my Skype name is Robert dot Defon simple simply my name but with dot at the middle with all small letters Robert dot Defon and I look forward to seeing with you, seeing you and uh, say uh, the rest of the things we need to talk about. Thank you very much for watching this. I always enjoy doing this. I always enjoy talking to you about this. This is an aspect of life that everybody wants to have it in place. I bless the Lord for giving me this opportunity and I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you. God bless you and see you some other time.